Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video we are going to discuss about gram staining in detail and we are also going to discuss the procedure of the gram staining and we know that there are two type of bacteria called as gram positive bacteria as well as the gram negative bacteria. So if you see the differences of gram positive bacteria as well as the gram negative bacteria, in gram positive the layer of peptidoglycan layer will be present in its cell wall. In the case of gram negative bacteria, here thin layer of peptidoglycan layer will be present. So this is a one of the major difference which you people have to remember. In gram positive bacteria, thick layer of peptidoglycan layer will be present. Nearly 20 to 80 nanometers of peptidoglycan layer, uh, you know, thick, uh, thick layer of the peptidoglycan layer will be present. By this itself, you can understand how thick the peptidoglycan layer is present in this gram positive bacteria. Whereas in the case of gram negative, it will be nearly 8 to 10 nanometers. So by this you can understand how thick the peptidoglycan layer is in this gram positive gram negative bacteria and in gram positive bacteria tachoic acids will be present whereas in gram negative uh, they are absent tachoic acids are absent and in gram positive outer membrane is absent remember this is also one of the most important point you people have to remember in gram positive bacteria outer membrane is absent Be whereas in gram negative bacteria outer membrane is present so remember these two points it will be used further and here the thick layer of peptidoglycan layer will be present and outer membrane is absent. Thin layer of peptidoglycan layer will be present whereas outer membrane is present here. Here it is absent and spores are present and spores are absent. Right? And here lipopolysaccharide is absent whereas here lipopolysaccharide is present. And the, some of the best examples of the gram positive bacteria are streptococcus, staphylococcus. And some of the best examples of gram negative are E. coli, I mean Cerecia coli as well as the Salmonella. So coming to the uh, history of this gram staining, a Danish scientist whose name is Hans Christian Gram is a scientist who discovered the procedure of gram staining in 1884, right? So now let us discuss about the procedure of the gram staining. So uh, what are the requirements which are mainly required for the gram staining procedure? Bacteria, I mean the colony of the bacteria is required and grams iodine, crystal violet, saffronin, decolorizer water so these are the uh, you know the, uh, see gram iodine crystal violet saffron and decolizers are the chemicals which are required for this gram staining and uh, these are the, uh, the these are the things which we require for the procedure of this gram staining so now let us see how the gram staining procedure will be done so here the first step includes firstly you are going to take a slide and make sure that the slide should be cleaned and it should be washed with the water such that it mainly helps in preventing the contamination of the bacteria so actually the slide should get sterilized to get free from the contaminated bacteria and in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to take a petri plate and you are going to culture the bacteria and it will become colonies right and you are going to select one of the colony and you are going to place them on the slide and after placing them on the slide you are going to spread it uh, with to a particular portion so slide with bacterial colony so this is the slide which contains the bacterial colony make sure you are going to spread with a particular portion right of that bacteria and in the next step what you are going to do is that dry it under the presence of heat for 1.5 minutes that means 1 minute 30 seconds so you are going to dry it under the presence of the heat for 1.5 minutes which one this slide which contains the bacteria you are going to dry it and now in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to add the crystal violet so crystal violet is a chemical which you are going to add so once you add the crystal violet then uh, the particular portion of the bacteria will become violet in color and now this slide this slide I mean which contains the colony bacterial colony with crystal violet it should get leave for 30 seconds so as i have mentioned here add crystal violet we have added and leave it for 30 seconds right after 30 seconds what you are going to do is that you are going to take a water bath and in that water bath you are going to add the sterile water in this way you are going to add the sterile water and in the sterile water you are going to dip this slide which contains uh, the bacterial colony which, which has been added with crystal violet so you are going to dip that and you are going to wash that uh, slide and make sure here once you wash but the bacterial colony will be present as it is but only the color which has been added I mean the crystal violet color has been added right I mean the chemical of the crystal violet has been added and that will be removed see but the crystal violet which has been uh, added it will be absorbed by the bacteria but the color only will be removed from the surface of that slide and now what you are going to do now you are going to remove that slide but uh, once you remove that slide, the crystal violet cannot be uh, visible through our naked eyes. But the bacteria will absorb the crystal violet, right? And now we are going to add the grams iodine solution. As I have mentioned here, 
you are going to add the grams iodine solution so grams iodine color will be little bit yellowish and orange in color so you are going to add it on this on this slide which contains this bacterial colony and now here have me as i have mentioned here add grams iodine and you have to leave it for one minute you are going to leave this slide for one minute and again after one minute what you are going to do you are going to take the water bath and that water bath consists of sterile water and you are going to dip this slide into this sterile water and you are going to wash it and now you are going to remove that slide and after removal of that slide you are going to place that slide with 25 degrees and after placing the slide with the 25 degrees then you are going to add 95% ethanol 95% ethanol so here 95% ethanol is nothing but the decolorizing agent which i have said you right so decolorizing in this place of 95% ethanol you can also use alcohols so these are the decolorizing agents so decolorizing agents are nothing but which mainly helps to remove the colors which are present on the slides so here we have added crystal violet and we have also added this gram iodine right so if little amount of color is present it will be removed by this 95 percent ethanol which are going to add here and here in the place of 95 percent of ethanol you can also add the alcohol and now in the next step what you are going to do see here in this way you are going to add the 95 percent ethanol such that all the color which has been present uh, in the in that slide will be removed and in the next step what you are going to do again you are going to take a water bath and again you are going to clean this clean this uh, slide right and now you are going to remove that slide and on that slide you are going to add the saffronin but make sure that the bacterial colony will be present as it is right it will not be removed and now you are going to add the saffronin and after adding the saffronin you are going to leave it for one minute as i have mentioned here you are going to leave it for one minute you are going to leave it for one minute and in the next step what you are going to do is that after one minute you have you are again you are going to take a water bath which consists of the sterile water and again you are going to dip this slide which consists of the bacterial colony which has been maintained with the saffronin and now you are going to dip it and you are going to wash this slide again and now you are going to remove that slide and now it will be examined under the presence of a microscope after examination under the presence of the microscope so what is the picture available as if you see here uh, where some of the bacteria are purple in color and some of the bacteria are pink in color right so that pink color is exhibited by the saffron which has been absorbed and here the result which can be given by the picture is that the purple color showing bacteria are gram positive bacteria and the pink color showing exhibiting bacteria are called as gram negative bacteria so this is one of the most important thing which you people have to remember so why the saffron uh, plays a major role here because I hear uh, uh, this saffronin is mainly helps helps the bacteria to absorb and it will not get emitted out because there is absence of peptidoglycan layer or a thin layer of the peptidoglycan layer right even though there is outer membrane in that uh, in that gram negative bacteria but it can escape easily right but the pink color cannot be escaped that's only the reason this uh, saffronin can be exhibited and it will be plays a major role in the kind of this gram negative bacteria that's only the reason this gram negative bacteria exhibit pink in color whereas it come, coming to this gram positive bacteria as you have added here the uh, crystal violet right and that color will be absorbed by this gram positive bacteria but the saffron which you are going to add will not be absorbed by the gram positive bacteria where it will uh, it will reject that saffron in which you are going to add but the gram negative bacteria can absorb that saffron in right so even though the, if you add the crystal violet the gram negative bacteria even it can accept the crystal violet but after absorbing the crystal violet it will get emitted out easily right but if you add the saffron in it cannot get emitted out easily hence this gram negative will exhibit the pink in color right so in this way the gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria staining will be done so thank you for watching this video if you like this video you can like this video and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you